Uh, good afternoon. Um, the light is dark, and I will try my best to keep you awake. Um, let me start by asking you a question. When people hear you say, uh, "I work in an international office," how often will you hear they say, "Ah, you must speak very good English," or they might say, "Ah, you have must have studied abroad." Or do you people travel all around the world, stay in good hotels, and you know meet、uh, people from all of, over the world? Is that so? Are they true or partially true? And let me ask you another question: How often do you or your colleagues get requests from your university? To, for example, to translate or proofread English tests for them, to get requests to book air tickets or hotels for them, or to organize international conferences or be the MC of the ceremony. And on the other stream, do you ever encounter faculty members who think whatever related to internalization? It's your business, not theirs. Okay.、Um, so today I'm going to um, um, use、um, National Taiwan University's Office of International Affairs, where I worked for eight years, as an example to show you two things. These two things are、uh, first. The tasks of international office is very, very complex, beyond outsiders' imagination. The second thing is internationalization. I mean, people like us, international administrators, are actually a profession. It requires more than English and internationalization, international experiences. And I have、um, divided my presentation today in three parts.、Uh, part A:、uh, the Office of Internalizations,、uh, uh, the Office of International Affairs evolution. Part B: OIA's mission and functions. And part three: its people. Okay, part one. I'm going to tell you about how my office grew to what it is now today. Let's see what transformation my office has gone through. To boost its academic competitiveness, universities around the world have been conducting research excellence initiatives from North America. To South America, such as Science Without Borders in Brazil, and to Europe, like FP7 in the EU, and how about Asia? We have like、um, Korean Brain、uh, 21st program in Japan. You have Global 30 in Mainland China. We have Project 211 Life. Uh, 985211985 Gong Cheng, and Taiwan is no exception. We called it Taiwan Development Plan for University Research Excellence, Mai Ding Jihua. And my university is very honored to be on the top of the list and gained extra funding. And、uh, as I look back today. It is no exception to say that it's really a turning point for the development of my office. The leadership had strong will and exclaimed "world-class university" as the vision. Thus, internalization was made a stronger campus-wise commitment. And to realize the vision, our bar. Our budget soared, as you can see very well from this graph. 
and our staff kept increasing. And our organization kept transforming. So we can tackle with the new functions, missions that we shoulder today. Now you have an idea what we were like before. Now, in the second part, I'm going to give you a small glimpse into、uh, the complex responsibilities and tasks our office has today. Four functions: the basics, cross-administration effort, student and faculty mobility, and alliance establishment. This is basically what we do in our office. Okay,、uh, the first function, the basics.、Um, I believe you will agree that internalization cannot be a success without looking into the ma massive system and making necessary changes. Internalization is not to just launch international programs. We need to get ourselves ready by building a team, by get setting goals and indicators, by cultivate international officers. And、um, if you are、uh, you are not an English-speaking school, internalization also involves bilingual services. And I know in Japan you have a debate on the shift of、uh, academic calendar, and I think that's one issue here in Japan, but、uh, not in my university. So I think the functions that we do varies a little, but I believe we have a lot in common. Now the second function, the、uh, cross administration efforts. Um, Cross-administration efforts are made to provide high-quality、uh, courses inside the classroom, and outside the classroom, we also provide services for students by giving good counseling and assistance and、uh, cross-cultural development activities. The third function: we develop and execute. Mobility programs for faculty and for students, both at home and abroad. The fourth function: our office、um, also helped develop the university's academic alliances by joining networks,、uh, higher education organizations, and ar、uh, visits arrangements. Now the whole function pie again. Don't you think they are quite overwhelming? Now the、uh, third part of my presentation.、Um, this is us. This is us. As you can see, that we are、uh, mostly female. I wonder what case, what your case will be.、Uh, most of us are female, and most of them have high degree from the world's top universities. I would, if I have time, I would like to know what your office is like.、Um, and in the beginning of my presentation,、um, I have shown you some misconceptions. Misconceptions that、uh, people think of what we are and what we do, and now I would like to stress that、um, we are、um, we are actually educator, we are policy maker, we are budget manager, we are supervisor, we are also counselor, program developer, program coordinator, program advisor, etc.
And to be an efficient international officer, it takes more than language, more than international experience, because it is a professional. It's a profession in its own right, requiring a specialist skill set. Now I would like to give you two examples. First example, the position of、um, an international student advisor. This position is to provide academic visa counseling and related services. So、um, the job requirements would include, but are not limited to,、um, excellent English skills,、um, knowledge of study programs for students. Counseling and、uh, advising skills,、uh, interpersonal skills, computer skills, ability to follow university or your、uh, ministry of education policies, procedures, <laughs> etc. And second example, international pro program coordinator.、Uh, this position is to. Manage partnerships by creating and maintaining a variety of joint programs. So,、um, what is required of this position? It required English again. Of course, Chinese are a、uh, language, and excellent communication skills, strong problem-solving, analytical and writing abilities. And this position have to be very、uh, self-motivated, detail-oriented, and multitasker. Computer skills again, and enthusiasm in the mission of international exchange. And two or more years of、uh, work experiences.、Uh, with the ab above said, I would like to add that. Though each OIA minister is specialized in a certain function, each of them is also expected to have a skill set broad enough to be capable of understanding the bigger picture, to be fully operational as a stand-in, and to be an efficient team player. Now I would like to end my presentation by sharing a good news with you.、Uh, for quality assurance、uh, sake, my university conducts an administrative quality assessment on a rolling basis. That means、uh, each unit will get assessed every four years, and I'm very proud to say that my office won. For consecutively two years, the quality、um, award, and I would say that this is a, a timely recognition for what we contribute as a profession. Thank you.